Today we're going to talk about how to set up a COM port or a serial port for communication in the load manager. Now possible uses are upgrading firmware on an arm box or retrieving load records from a meter. First we have to identify our computer's serial communications port. Now some computers have them built in and some require a USB to DB9 cable along with a software driver. You may review what COM ports are present by going into Device Manager. And there, there are several ways to do that, but today we're just going to look at um, right-clicking on Computer, clicking on Manage, which brings up this dialog, Computer Management, and then click on Device Manager, and then on Ports. Uh, let me show you a different way, which would be to click on, or uh, right-click on Computer, click on Properties, click on Device Manager, and we're, we're pretty much at the same place. Uh, another alternate way is to click on Start, and in the, I'm, I'm using Windows 7, so all I'd have to do here is just type uh, DEV MGMT dot MSC. And this would bring up this, which is right where we were um, previous two times. Now in some systems you would click on start and then click on run and then type the devmgmt.msc. So once you get here, all you need to do is find a COM port. And in my case, um, I'm using a USB to serial um, adapter and it's it's assigned COM7 to that adapter. So I'll just make a note of that, close out of here, and then go into Tools, or back into uh, Load Manager. So Tools, uh, Communications, and we're going to add a port. So we click on Add, and I'll give it something descriptive like COM7. And uh, 9600 baud because that's the baud rate that we communicate at. N for no parity, eight data bits, one stop bit. And uh, change this to 9600 baud. Um, the standard ports one through four are here, but mine is seven. So I come here and just type seven. Um, and that's all I need to do. So now I have a uh, COM port de defined in Load Manager, and that's how easy it is to uh, set up a COM port.